Eric Mwadhif, Mwadhif.com. Let's take a look at Biogen. I think it represents a good opportunity for us to learn what to expect after an explosive run. We can see here on Friday, June 6th, 2018, we had a huge, huge movement to the upside. The stock was up about 20% with a huge gap at the open. And you can see this huge gap where it just took off and had a huge day. Now the question is, what next? Now what I want to show you here is this is now the next day, the next day being a Monday, and here is live trading for the general market. What we see here is, now that we can take a look at what happened on Friday, there was an attempt to break out, and that is going to come in play, I believe, because at the highs of Friday, we were unable to close above the previous daily closing high on this one year daily chart and the level being 367 point nine one so we were unable to break out that's not a good sign also you can argue that what the RSI did was come back to test this line here. There was a break here which led to a shallow pullback. We've rallied all the way in price and you can see the RSI is coming back to test that red line. Failure to hold the red line suggests that around here we start pulling back even day to day. And the key takeaway here is until we break out above the recent daily closing high, this instrument is stuck from sideways to down. Until we can break out above the closing high from early this year, and again the price is 367.91, going back to this day here. Now what I'm going to do, let me show you the current daily chart so let's go take a look at the current daily chart and here's the current daily we are down about 1.5 percent on the following day today being a monday and now we can see the line i had drawn is showing this is where the stock is pulling back we are still showing rejection here more so we need to be aware that if this forms uniform activity back below the 69.1 level that would be confirmation that this was a fake move just like we have uniform activity above 69.1 and back below it for the top right there. So something to watch here. We've already seen a back test. The next thing to be on the lookout here is for uniform activity back below 69.1. Now, if we take a look at this two-year weekly chart, we start seeing other problems on the chart. Number one, there is a top side resistance line here that is coming in play stock is responding to that on the rsi we can also see that the daily close and the weekly closing high are the same so the level here is 367.91 which is also the daily closing high for 2018 which is also the weekly closing high for 2018 so until we can break out on this weekly chart until we break out, we are stuck in this sideways to down market because as of right now, technically, this was a failed breakout attempt. Also, we can see a back test of this recent break. We break here. Of course, this brings the instrument lower. And now we are back to show resistance on that same line. Another way to take a look at this with the same conclusion is to consider where we broke down which is this breakpoint of that high and we draw a bearish uniformity resistance line. Anytime we have uniform activity rejection on this line it means that this is where we should expect a ton and there you have it. It is showing uniform activity rejection on that line. 
So all these three lines are intersecting exactly where we are trading, suggesting that around here, this is reversal territory as long as the lines are showing resistance. Also, this was uniform activity rejection on the weekly which gave us that top. This looks like uniform activity rejection at the 69.1 level, which is also suggesting that the next meaningful direction is lower. Now, if we take a look at the monthly chart, we see that there's reason for concern around current levels. If I draw this line here, which corresponds with the break of 2015 highs. So we break down off the highs there. We are coming back to test the same line. We were and so we break down here. We tried to move higher in early 2018. We got stalled. And here we are testing this line. So when you combine all those things on the daily, weekly and monthly, this is a good lesson, it's a real-time lesson to see whether Biogen and BTK stall around here. I would lean to a stall based on what I am looking at. In other words, if you are looking to take advantage of the next meaningful direction in the biotech space, and more specifically for the Biogen stock, which is what we've looked at here, it's a good study. My prediction is based on what I see unless it changes the next major trend for Biogen is lower. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!